Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com video tutorial. Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to uh, talk to you about a program called uh, Problem Steps Recorder. This program is pretty good for whenever you need uh, some technical help or something like that and you need to email, email somebody a problem that you're having with your computer. Let's say, you know, if uh, I have a, a cousin and he's having a problem with his computer and he lives too far away for me to go and help. Well, I'll have him to use this problem stop, uh, step recorder and um, to you know go step by step of what he's doing and um, try to figure out what's going on. Uh, if you don't understand what I'm saying, then you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Okay, to get the, uh, the recorder, it's not a program that you have to download. It's a program that's uh, actually um, in, already in uh, your computer. Well, this only works for Windows 7, um, but uh, it's already in Windows 7. Um, by the way, Vista or XP, I'm pretty much sure you guys ain't got this. Uh, so you go to start and then go down to the search area right here and you want to type in PSR and it stands for Problems um, Step Recorder. Okay, and you should get these two things right here to pop up. Okay, <clears throat> now if you want to, you know, make a shortcut for that, you go to this one right here, right click on it, and then you go to Send To and then Desktop. And it'll put a shortcut on your desktop. Or you can just click right here and it'll bring up the recorder. Now, this looks like, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the, re the regular recorder. Uh, this looks like, you know, the Windows recorder, which you would see right here. Or sound recorder. It looks just like the sound recorder, as you can see right here. So, but it's not actually the sound recorder. What this is right here is going to take snapshots of step by step of the stuff that you're doing and it puts it into an HTML file so that you can email to a technician later. So uh, let's go ahead and do a sample. Oh, by the way, here, right here is the shortcut that you just did for that. So uh, let's go ahead and hit click on start. Okay, and what it's going to do is going to uh, uh, click on everything that I'm doing. It's going to take snapshots of everything that I do. Uh, I'm start uh, programs Black accessories open up notepad uh, programs uh, paint okay now let's go ahead and hit stop and what's that doing is going to save it. And we'll go ahead and save it to desktop. Or you can save it wherever you want. And I'm going to just name this test. And hit set again. Okay. Now what it did, it created a zip file. Now you need a zip exactor. And I think uh, Win, uh, Windows Zip might do it. But if not, download a program called WinWar. And uh, with WinWar, it uh, will unzip it for you. So uh, right now it's in the zip file. And the reason why I put it in a zip file is to make it easy to email it to you, to whoever you want to email it to. So we're going to go ahead and right click on that, and we're going to extract to uh, file name. Okay, and as you can see right here, it's in the folder now. Now, once you open it up, uh, you're going to see this right here. It's the file. It's the uh, MHTML document. So we're going to go ahead and open that. Now, it's going to open up Internet Explorer in order for you to see it. For those of you who don't like Internet Explorer, hey, sorry. But it's going to open it up. And then if you're like me and never use it, you're probably going to get this to pop up all the time. Just hit Ask Me Later. And as you can see, uh, Record Problem Steps. Um, it gives you some information right here. And from here, you can just scroll down and you can see what all I've done so far. And I guess it highlights some points of what I did, like... I went up here and then I clicked on that. This right here is going to pop down. Now it shows the Cam Stadia Studio. Okay. Then it shows that it highlighted this part right here and shows that I went over here to the start menu. <clears throat> and then I opened it up. Then I went to all programs. As you can see, it highlighted the places that I actually did. <clears throat> and of course, I'm in accessories. And then I went to Notepad, brought up the Notepad, and also did it for, you know, the dock that I got right here. 
Okay. And now it's showing that. Paint, brought up paint. And then they got some additional details. It shows like step by step of what the person did, what he left click, right click, whatever he did on that. So anyhow, um, that's pretty much how you do it. This is a very useful tool if you're having some uh, troubleshoot issues with your computer <clears throat> and you need to send a technician step by step of what you did. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.